Hi everybody on YouTube, it's Anastasia, your girl A. Haldry, and I just want to talk about uh, today's topic about why is it that we should go green? You know, I'm always video blogging about why it's important to go green, but people still don't get it. People still don't understand the whole aspect of going green, the benefits, the, um, the, the relief of going green in our savings account. Because see, people think that it's all about making money. Not necessarily so. This is this is a business, but not necessarily so that it has to be about money because that wasn't the reason why I got involved in my green business in the first place. It wasn't so much about money. It was more about when I started seeing global warming started to take effect and I started noticing that the you know, the planet started going down the tubes pretty much because, you know, the ice shelves are melting, the um the water's polluted and the water's been polluted for a long time. Nobody does anything about it. But, you know, yet, yet we still have to complain about these things. I mean, if you want to know why to go green, go to your sink, okay? Turn on the faucet, take a nice clear glass of uh, empty glass and go under there and fill that thing up with water. Now, tell me what you, when you taste, when you smell, what do you feel when you drink that? It's disgusting. That just tells you how much crap that's in the water, okay? And you're drinking that out of your tap water. So, talk about needing business and needing money or talk about that going green is about a business then why do they sell purifying filtration systems? Why? So they can make money? Well, they want us to drink safe drinking water. That's the reason why. So that's the whole importance of drinking water, okay? That is the importance of the business. They make money while trying to help us go green, but we're the ones that benefit because we're the ones using the product so that we can benefit by feeling uh, healthier drinking clear water. Okay, so that's the benefit that we need for our bodies. We need that. Okay, here's another reason why we should go green. Okay, talk about products that are on the market. You buy in the grocery store, you buy in a dollar store, you buy at the local uh, um, supermarket. Um, well, basically, they have stuff there on the shelves, and they got about 30, 40, 50 brands of air fresheners that you need to choose from. Excuse me for a minute, my brother just walked in. You need to respect my privacy. Hey, it's reality TV, what do you expect? I mean, the next time you'll probably come walking in and be screaming at me for shutting the door. <laughs> but I live with my family, so what do you expect? Anyway, hopefully uh, that didn't just mess me up. But basically what I was talking about is over 20, 30, 40 different uh, brands of air fresheners. We only need one, right? Why are they coming up with all these different brands? Because everybody, every person has a different sense of preference. They want to smell something cucumber, they buy something cucumber. They want to smell something watermelon, they buy something watermelon. But, there's a but. This stuff is not healthy. This stuff is not healthy. This stuff, if you spray this shit up in the air, this stuff bothers you, okay? Tell me it doesn't bother you. Those of you who are like me, I have allergies, okay? If they spray this shit in the air, I gotta breathe this shit. And you know what? If I go to a restaurant, they spray the heck out of this in the bathroom. Of course they do, you know? It ain't supposed to smell like roses, but you know, but you're doing your business in there and that's another topic, that's gross. But, I mean, come on now, they're spraying all this, but people don't read what they buy. They always read. They always read the, the the cover and the and they look at the picture and you know they they, they see that it's it's got a nice catchy uh, uh, flavor to it or scent to it, so they buy the shit. But when they bring it home and they like all over the place, and then all of a sudden your grandma's walking in, she's like, <laughs> "What the hell was that?" That means that she's sick just because you try to make the house smell good. You know, this stuff is bad. This stuff is not good, okay? You want to buy air freshener, go green with a green air freshener. Go non-aerosol. Very important to the environment. Non-aerosol helps the air better, okay? You're not spraying contaminants into the air, all right? Also, men. I have to talk about men because I live in a house full of boys, okay? I got two brothers. I got my father who's 70. My two brothers are, uh, Milo is like 26, and my other brother is 27. And I'm 29, so we're stressed at babies. So basically, um, they use, they used to use products from the dollar store. It was, it's just simple, it's convenient, it's easy, it's cheaper. But they don't know 
the downfall of buying those products. So like for one of them, I, this was in the garbage, thank goodness I found it because I wanted to talk about it today on this blog. This stuff is nair, nair for men. All right, yeah, it's a nice looking bottle. You know, again, advertising, it's a nice looking bottle, okay. So men are gonna be attracted to it, why? Look at the front. The picture of a dude's chest on there. So that's another thing about advertising. They paid a lot of money to put this dude's chest on top of the bottle so he could buy this product. The men could buy these products. Cause they think that it's good for them. And then later on, they don't realize that fine print back there that they don't feel like reading. Because people don't feel like reading sometimes. They just buy the shit. And they look at it and they go, oh, mineral oil. Uh, yeah, green at the end of it. Okay, so it might be good. Oh, wait a minute. That's hydroxide green. That's a chemical. Okay? But yet they buy in this product, you know. Does it smell good? Well, let me see. Yeah, it's got a nice smell to it, but I can still smell the alcohol. See? Going green, you start getting prone to these things. And you start smelling the alcohol in a lot of products. And you're going to start learning that when you, when you hear about my blogs. Man, don't buy stuff like this. This stuff is cheap. This stuff is not good for your skin. Okay, same thing with ladies. Don't be buying, you know, uh, products that are for your, your legs and your armpits. And, you, you know, you got to shave or you got to wax. And that stuff has chemicals in it. Buy something with natural ingredients. Go green and natural ingredients. You know? Here's another thing that gets on my nerves. Uh, coupons. Look at this. All this paper. Hey, let me flip it around. All this paper that they're throwing away, okay, the trees are screaming in the garbage right now, in the landfill. Because all they're doing is giving you coupons with 50 cents off, a dollar off, maybe two dollars the max off. I never see anything that says 20 bucks off, 40 bucks off, 50 bucks off. No, you don't see that. These coupons printed on marketing paper, again, waste of money, waste of money. What is going to drive traffic, okay? to making these products sell is the people using the products. But well, you don't hear about that though. You hear a lot of advertisers do that for the um, companies. But people gotta advertise for these products, okay? And you know what? That's the only way you wanna hear about going green. That's why everybody's talking about going green. Because the people who are going green, who care about, who give a shit about their bodies, who care about the environment, who care about the welfare of their kids' skin, their skin, their family's skin, I can go on and on. They're the ones benefiting and they're the ones opening their mouth by free word of advertising so that people can hear about going green. Oh yeah, going green is good, you know, ever since I've been going green. Uh, you know, my kid didn't have to go to the uh, doctors a lot. You know, he goes for his annual checkups, but the doctor's always wondering why he's never there. Well, and I would say to them, look, wow, that's wonderful to hear because you know what? You just saved yourself a whole bunch of medical expenses. So I hope that is a topic today, you know, I'm rambling on because you know what, this stuff really irks me. People all have nothing to say when they're not going green. You know, it just doesn't make any sense, you know. Any comments or suggestions, please feel free to email me at ahaldry at yahoo.com. Check out my video blog often. Subscribe if you're not a subscriber. I will be putting out new videos every day of the week as much as I can to video blog. And if I miss a day, hey. Don't worry about it. I'll definitely get a video out to you. Because you know what? I'm a single parent. And I'm going to be covering about topics of single parenting as well. So as we go forward with moving into the 100th videos. Because right now we are. This is the 68th video. And now we're getting into like getting close to 100. So I will be coming up with more videos. More ideas. You guys got ideas. Throw them at me. I love you all. Thank you so much. And go green. It makes sense.